What's going on guys? This is JT here and we'll be here on the iOS server on my main free-to-play account when you guys see what happened tonight It is absolutely crazy. Yes, that's right. I know you saw it in the title. I did I got 90% on the discount store on the main free to play and have five event coins so before i get into that i wanted to quickly show you guys on android something to make sure you guys do not miss out on this event now i switched right over to my android just basically my test account nothing really important jt one time over here now the hero collector on android i know you guys are always saying man android doesn't ever get good rewards we'll take a look at this all you need to get is a simple frost witch for a level eight prime insignia pack all you players out there, everybody, please, if you haven't told your friend, make sure you tell them because you need to take advantage of this. This is absolutely huge, and I've never even seen anything this crazy on iOS. This is basically a must snatch. So all you got to do, if you guys don't know, is simply go into Hire for Honor Badges. What's the hero we're looking for again? So Hire for Honor Badges, and you can hire a Frost Witch through Honor Badges. Now, I might not actually have enough Honor Badges on this account, but let's see if we can get a Frost Witch. Let's go ahead and send it to the trunk. All right, we need to see a frost switch, baby. There it is, right there. Easy peasy. Look, wait, what? Does it only allow you to hire a hundred of those now? Bought today, eight out of a hundred. Yeah, so you can only hire a hundred through this now. Okay. All right, so that's all you got to do. Simply bam. Now you got yourself a level eight prime insignia. Obviously, you're gonna want to collect that. Let's see what we got to, what we would have got if this was. Oh, let's just say this is my main free to play account. Would it have been revitalized? No. Survival still pretty sick though level 8 survival didn't have to do much for to get that all right So let's go ahead and head back over to iOS. Let me close out of Android Make sure you guys take advantage of that Hopefully that comes over to iOS soon too because that is absolutely amazing All right, so for the free-to-play boys, let me go ahead and get rid of this roll Take that shaman. We also got a talent refresh along because we're going to need some gems because there's some stuff I'm going to be buying, man. You guys are going to freak out. I couldn't believe it. When I rolled today, I honestly had no plans of even making a video today. It was honestly under the weather. I had a major stomach ache. So I was like, ah, I don't want to record today. Next thing I know, this happened tonight. And I'm like, all right, I can't not make a video on this tonight, right? So do we need to go ahead and get into it? No, we need to go ahead and roll for my uh, 300 gems that I need to buy. I got right now 41,400 gems. The reason why my gems have been going up so fast lately is because I have been running quest after quest. Literally been doing every single day. Make sure I get the four bonus quests out plus an additional two. So six quests at minimum every day on this free-to-play account. And that's why it's coming on so strong as of right now. All right, y'all ready for this? Discount store, here we go. All right, so bam. 90% on the free-to-play, and here's what we got. We got new talent, Vigorous Fury, 500 gems. Got to scoop that up. We got 41,000 gems. Even though I don't know if we have anywhere we want to put that right now, we might as well get it because 500,000 gems is not, or 500,000 gems, 500 gems is not that bad. Same with level 9 talent runes. It's like 80 of them for 500. Ship it. We'll take those two. Thank you. And then still, it's like, okay, 50 dub keeper scraps, 300 gems. That's one quest refresh. We might as well scoop that too. Now, here's where the hard decisions come, boys. And I don't even know, I don't even know if I want to spend my coins. Today is uncover the treasure. So, you know what? Is that all the gems I'm spending? Because I might as well spend, I might as well hire a couple of heroes right quick and spend the 2,000. That way I get an uncover roll, right? How many gems did I just spend? I spent 500, 500, and 300. So basically 600 more gems and I could, mm, nah, I'll just sleep on it. Today's not here. What does Uncover the Treasure give again? Skelly? Ooh, Skelly. The odds of getting Skelly are just, ooh, Levanica now too? Does it give Levanica? I think I just want to just saw Levanica. Oh no, maybe not. Okay, so it does give Artica though, but I don't really care about Artica because I already got Artica. All right, yeah, so not really worried about the, uh, I'm not going to spend the extra 600 gems rolling for heroes. But, man, that is sexy right there. All right, so what do we want to buy with the event coins? Tough choice. I'm going to go ahead and use one of these event coins right now because the first purchase I'm going to make is these chests. There's no way I can't buy 80 of these chests for one coin. This event already came around. It was the same exact offer that I had. I got 90% off or 80% off, and I had this offer for one coin for the same exact chest. The only difference was it was only 20 of them. Glad I saved the coin because now I have it to buy 80 of them. But the question is, do I even want to buy 80 of them or do I want to keep saving it? Well, I don't have a choice because I just simply spent the, uh, the coin. So now I still have four more coins, but I don't want to use the four coins, obviously. Do I want 
Oh, you know what I could have done? I didn't even think about this. I could have used one coin and changed the 90% of what I got altogether. I should have checked what this handed out. I didn't even think about that. What else could I even gotten? I could have got these rocks. These, that's useless. Um, anything like work? Ooh, five prime insignia packs. That would have been clutch. I'm actually thinking I'm kind of happy with what's up there, though. I mean, these chests, unless these chests are for gems, I'd much, much, much rather be spending my gems than coins. We need day of the week. That gum, I got hiccups. All right, so do I want to spend... All right, let me do the math right quick. All right, we got 4,000 igniting stones. Those are how much fame apiece? Those are 400 fame apiece, right? Those are... 400 fame apiece. All right, so that is about 1,000. That's 1,500 igniting stones. For So if I buy the fame, I can basically buy 1,500 igniting stones. 600,000 fame is worth 1,500 igniting stones. So 4,000 igniting stones, I'd say, is worth one coin, possibly. I don't really need fame. That's the thing. It's like, okay, if I buy the 600,000 fame, yeah, that is a ton of fame and would be very nice to have. But, where do I need fame? Like, let's be honest. I have over... How much fame do I have? I have 130,000 fame. With literally, I mean, I could buy some evolution runes. But, I mean, do I really need to just evolve random heroes that I don't even have? I have the 22 insignias. Not going to buy those. Never buy igniting stones with fame. Unless you just have an overload. Absolute waste. So, I mean, I don't have really anything to spend my fame on at this point, right? So, I mean, even if I get the 600,000 fame, yeah, I could boost my might probably to something insane, but that's not really that important to me. However, the igniting stones is where I'm kind of tripped. It's like, eh, how many of these do I have? I have four. The thing is, is if I buy the igniting stones, I don't have the zenith stones. So, it's like, do I buy the igniting stones? I think the zenith stones are going to be in the next balloon event, if I'm not mistaken. And how many, uh, how many Igniting Stars, Zenith Stones do I actually have right now? 266. Yeah, I mean, I think I gotta buy the Igniting Stones. Because if I do decide... One second, let me just take a quick peek at something, guys. Sorry, it's a little bit slow. I just wanna see, uh... Let's go ahead and boost up my Sasquatch. I just wanna see how many Zenith Stones you need for the first couple of levels here. Just because I'm curious to know. Because I might buy the Igniting Stones... Just so I can get everybody. Let me see. So it's five. It goes five, ten, fifteen, twenty. All right. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy that because I have 266 plus for the next balloon event. Yeah, I think that's a good decision because buying this might actually give me enough breakthrough to possibly go ahead and get my heroes good enough for a thousand overall on a full week of Lost Battlefield. So yeah, let's go ahead and collect this. So we got four thousand igniting stones, eighty of the chest, the Dove Keeper scraps, eighty. Oh my God. We coming out so strong, please. Let's go ahead and turn in the skins. We got this. We got Krill Master 2. Sexy, sexy. Nice. We can't enhance, but we can take a look and use this sexy skin. There it is. It's already on it. All right, nice. What's our second talent going to be? Level 5 Bulwark. What a roll. We'll take some level 5 Bulwark action. That's a pretty good talent for Dove, honestly. What about our Grill Master talent? What do we got here? Level 5 War God, dude, my account is like a god. It's like, here, level 5 Bulwark. Level 5 War God. What do you want next, sir? 90%? Here you go. It's like, come on. IGG's rigging the account, boys. I'm just kidding. Definitely. Not the case. All right, let's see here. What do we got going down? We got a bunch of gift packs to open. So from the gift packs, let me see. How many level 9 talent runes do I have? I have more than enough to get all my heroes to level 9 talents now. That's insane. All right, so we have 95 total. I'm just going to go ahead and open all these up at uh, the same time. One at a time would be probably more exciting, but I'm going to open them all up at the same time. I mean, I'm mainly cheering for books. I know it sounds crazy, but books... Books are the most important thing. I, I mean, fine enchantment chests are nice. I do need those in the long run. Same with talent, level 5 talent chests. But, honestly, level 5 talent chests I don't want. I want to see books here and some Zenith Stones, honestly. So, book it up, baby. Book it up. More books, the better. We got 100 books there. Another 100 books. Come on, give me 500 books. There we go. Give me another 500. There's another 100. Come on, 500. 500. 300. How about that 500? All right, we got 350 Igniting Stones there. So, how many Zenith Stones do we get? Quite a bit. All right. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So we actually got quite a bit of books with that as well. 1,500 books. So that's absolutely amazing because we did need honor badges on this account. And as you guys can see right here, 
we can simply just sell 262 books and get over 10 million. Is that 10 million? That's 10 million honor badges. So yeah, that is very, very nice. So what else do we got? We also got out of that, let me see, I wanted to see how many level nine talent rooms we got. We got, oh, actually not that many. So 95, we got eight, eight level nine talent rooms. What else do we get out of that? We got quite a bit of igniting stones. I'd say probably around a thousand igniting stones and about 200 zenith stones. And I actually needed the zenith stones pretty bad for all the igniting stones that I just bought. So I'd say that, in my opinion, was definitely worth it. That's That wasn't even including the uh, level 5 talent chest that we just got, which, I mean, I have 125 of them now, so that's really not even important. Let's see, how many of the other talents chests do I have? 171. All right, I got to make a video soon on the fine enchantment chest, no doubt about that. And, yeah, I think that pretty much does it. I opened up all the rewards I got from that, right? Yeah. Nothing else to receive. Pretty insane. Vigorous Fury. Is there anywhere in Vigorous Fury would really that I want to put them on? Probably not right now, just in case. It'd be pretty interesting to put... Eh, I can't replace that level 8, but it'd be interesting to put it on the Zulix for the extra crit rate plus HP. It'd actually be pretty solid on the Zulix, but I'm not going to do that. I'm probably going to save it for Savalin because it's absolutely monta. Or maybe that new dragon. Yeah, I probably won't get the new dragon on my free-to-play account, honestly. But yeah, that pretty much does it. You guys on Android, make sure to collect that level 8 insignia. This account is definitely 100% going to be coming on strong in Lost Battlefield. No doubt about that. Actually, if you guys... Should I show the Lost Battlefield tonight? It is about that time. I guess we can go ahead and fight it tonight. I mean, the problem is I had a bad first day, and the way I roll in Lost Battlefield is I try to fight people who have non-evolved heroes or just whoever looks noob to me by who, what hero they're running, right? That's kind of how I try to fight it. All my free-to-play, right? Because you got to fight it safe. You want to get wins. You don't want to take the risk of fighting somebody you have a chance at losing. Well, if you know you have a, ch a big chance of losing. You don't want to take a chance at fighting that person, right? We got Dove Keeper, free to play Dove Keeper versus free to play Dove Keeper right now. He just absolutely smoked me. He's got that Michael in there with the Dove Keeper. That's a nice little move right there. What do we got coming on strong right here? I don't think he's going to be able to beat my level 10 breakthrough level Walla, though. Can he? He just killed everything with that Anubis not evolved? Come on. How did not evolve Anubis just poop on me? That was crazy. Goodness gracious, dude. That was nutty. Maybe that Anubis had, uh,. Right, let's see what do we got next here we got that michael mm, let's go ahead and refresh oh here we go we'll go against this asura this asura should be not oh that asura's double evolved that's a big rip i thought that was not evolved that's okay though it looks like we might can get this win nice he had a ripper in there too we'll take that dub thank you go ahead ship that that's easy beat you limit squeeze all right what do we got next here we got this should be a win, too, if we can get that Dove Keeper killed. It's only level 6 breakthrough. We got Athene in there for non-stop hits on the Dove if we can get through these other heroes quick enough. Come on. We're getting through them. Oh, come on. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Oh, that Dove is so low in the back. That Dove has stealth. Look at how fast it's attacking. Oh, my gosh. That stealth Dove just clutch for this man. The Dove goes... Man, Dove is a beast on stealth. Man, that dove is coming on. He ain't gonna be able to kill me, but he came on strong right there. He came on strong with that stealth. I ain't gonna lie. I like that. I actually like stealth on dove. I feel like that ain't a bad idea. Just makes him a little bit. I don't know if I like it. I like it for if dove's the last one alive to possibly one shot a team. Wait, he gave me a. Did I get the win right there? I must have got that win. I'm not sure. I saw that this dude had a non evolved Grim thing, so we gotta go ahead and attack this. Today's only uh, Tuesday, though, so, I mean, we still got a decent chance because 161, at least we got a couple of wins yesterday. As long as I get, like, above above 300 today and then tomorrow if I can get above 550, really, and then the next day above 700, then I got a chance. All right, let's see what we got going down here. We got a bunch of non-evolved, so another easy win. We'll take this. I say easy win, but then I get pooped on something. All right, I don't think that Michael's Archangel is going to take us out. That was a pretty clutch 90% discount store today, man. I'm not going to lie. I was pretty happy about that. Whenever I saw that, I was like, whoa, okay, we'll take that one time. Thank you. All right, who do we got next here? We got Refresh. Um, Refresh again for the last Refresh. Hopefully, it's not a waste. Limitless. We're definitely not fighting him. Oh, this is rough, man. I got to go against this 242 Michael. Hopefully, it's not a bunch of double evolves. Okay, we got single evolve action. That should be an easy win. Nice. There we go, boys. Single Evolved Dove Keeper 2. Got Dove Keeper out of the lineup for what's next. What do we got next here? 
We got easy peasy, baby. Nice. It's always good to see that kind of line up. Now, don't let me down. Well, I mean, I didn't actually look at the lineup of heroes. I didn't line up of single evolved heroes. All right, so what do we got coming in? We got... Um, a Mahatma. We got a single... We got a non-evolved candy cane. We can get a free win right there. Or we take risk with this Mahatma down here. I think we take risk with this Mahatma because he... Oh, and it has Levanica. She just took the free win. Or can we beat this Levanica team? We do have our Dubkeeper team. Come on, kill that Levanica. Oh, that's not the Levanica. Dang it. I thought that was my Levanica. All right, so what do we got next here? Or that wasn't my Dubkeeper team, was it? No, this is my Dubkeeper team right here. Ooh. He's got a strong Levanica, but he's got other weak other heroes. Come on, kill that Walla Walla, which we did. Oh, with my Dubkeeper skin, we're dropping like Andrews now or something. What are we dropping? We dropping arrows? We're dropping something. All right, what do we got coming for the last team? Oh, he's got Skelly and Lazu. Oh, and we just got our whole team one shot? Because his Cosmo just pawned us? Look at that, man. It's all right, though. 315 ain't too bad. Looking forward to uh, tomorrow. Anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video. I am out of here. Everybody have a wonderful Tuesday. Hey, guys, if y'all like what y'all saw, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you really want to see my content, go ahead and hit that bell button as well because it'll notify you right away to the email. Watch out.